Good job. Hello everyone. I am Rennie Lopez and welcome to Songs from the Stoop on this beautiful fall day, October, what's today? October two, three. October three. Ehud, you're on top of it as always. And today, my special guest, all the way from New Jersey, first met him in Atlanta, Arlen Phyllis. Nice to be here. Thanks How's for having me. How's it going, Arlen? It's going great, man. Awesome. It's so great to be here with you on a beautiful day. We've got it's, a great day finally. It's a great day. It's a perfect fall day. We tried to do this about three times yeah. and it rained. It was pretty much a guaranteed rainy day a guaranteed if we rainy day. this day. And you know, one day we'll be brave enough. We'll get some plastic guitars or something like that. And we'll, we, it doesn't matter just, if it rains. We'll just come out here and <laughs> rock it. But uh, Arlen and I met in 1994. I was bringing this up before. I was uh, 12 at the He time. was 12. I was 11. And... Uh, met at a club somewhere in Atlanta when I was in the authority and we opened up for his band called Natural Causes at the time. And um, then you moved to New York. Yeah, yeah. After that and we stayed in touch. Yeah, and we, uh, we, uh, we hung, hung out, out at the Silhouette. Oh, that's right. That was the whole, that's you right. know, the whole thing down there for years. And, um, and then you stayed in New York for how long? Uh, till about, uh, I think I moved to New Jersey in 2000, like 2000, I 2000. guess, 2001. Right, right, right. Um, I was in Williamsburg from 95 that's to about right. 99. Oh, that's right. And you used to do that thing at that... Um, Arlen's Army. That's right. That's yeah. right. And I came once and I was a disaster. I came, Arlen invited me once to play. Much. But I still, I did, I'll never forget this night because it was at that place on Bedford Street before the Williamsburg Charleston. was like became what yeah, it is. Benny, the Charleston. Right. Place to do and you invited me to play, and I wasn't used to ever playing uh, guitar by myself in front of a crowd. That was just a new thing to me. Yeah. But I decided oh, I was going to do it that night, and I was so freaking nervous, I remember. And it was such a huge lesson for me. It was like, I need to get my shit together. That was a great time, man. And uh, unfortunately, uh, Benny used to run that place. He, I don't know where he's off to, but it's under new management. And the whole town, you know, it's a whole new world there. It's, it's a know? whole new world. I mean, I'm up in that world because my studio's in Williamsburg. And I'm in South Williamsburg, and I have a love for it. But, but uh, yeah, it's completely changed. Completely different. You know, it's happening everywhere. Yeah, you got it. Yeah. Too. Well, that's it. We go in, we make places suitable living environments. Right. <laughs> then they price us out and send yeah. us on our way. Yeah. yeah. But so, New Jersey's good, man. They yeah, love songs. And they you're love in Asbury Park, right? I'm just outside. I'm a little north of there in Matawan, okay. but that's pretty much the center of uh, my music community. Right. Uh, which is fantastic. There's so much great talent down there, and again, they, you know, they love songs there. Yeah. They love songs in New Jersey. So for me, it's, it's a good fit, and. Uh, great place to raise my family I think and, and you uh, have two girls now I got two little girls right. now and, and you're writing a lot of songs writing tons of music yeah but you've always written a lot you've always, yeah I've, you've always I've stayed with it tried to stay busy doing yeah. that yeah you know? yeah and we're gonna play one of your songs right now yeah, is this great. on an album or is this this actually be? is this was uh, this uh, came out a few years ago on an album called come Sunday morning it's actually morning. the title track it's a really good song check it out here we go
with a brand new suit. Oh, come Sunday morning, gonna be redeemed, Lord, for the things I do. What you gonna do with your share? we we'll count it in the morning. Get it while it's good. The split is fair and be on your own way. What you gonna do with your share? we we'll count it in the morning. The powder is true as the longest day. Be on your own way. Gonna be redeemed, Lord, for the things I do. What you gonna do with your dead? We'll count them in the morning. Bag them and bless them for the job they did. And send them on their way. Gonna be a rich man with a brand new suit. Oh, come Sunday morning. Gonna be redeemed, Lord, for the things I do. I do. Stick it in a hole. Oh, come Sunday morning. Gonna be a rich man with a brand new suit. Oh, come Sunday morning. Gonna be redeemed, Lord, for the things I do. Thank you. Yeah. Arlen, so before we started the show, we were talking about uh, jobs we had when we were young men in New York City. Coming to New York City, yeah. And you were telling me when you were, because the truck was trying to pass by before, so we had to wait to film because the truck it took about 10 minutes to pass, and there's always something, the truck was too big for the street. So Arlen was talking about when he used to drive a truck in New York City for Carol Music. That was my first job when I moved to New York City. I answered an ad in the Village Voice, and they were looking for. Remember when we used to look at ads in the yeah, Village Voice? Yeah, exactly. And and concert ads and all kinds. You of You ever stuff. put an ad, yeah, for like for like a musician in the Village yeah, Voice, yeah, like yeah. You need a bass player, and then you get some crazy Boy, guys. Boy, did they going. come out! Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, so I, they were looking for a truck driver that had knowledge and experience with musical instruments, and I was like, well, you know, I got halfway there, you yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. Let me go see and. Uh, I went up to Carol Music up on uh, up by the Port Authority, and uh, went for the interview and you know talked my game real nice on right. all the instruments and everything. And he's like, "Well, so can you drive a truck?" I'm like, "Yeah, sure, no problem." And he's like, "That truck there?" <laughs> I'm like, "Oh shit!" 
Yes. I had to fib a little bit. Had to fib a little right. bit. But you know what? Uh, the guys I worked with helped me out. They taught me that uh, when you break a mirror, you don't stop and check. You go, 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 you go, go. <laughs> I didn't know that, man. Now I know. It's the go, go, go part. Go, I had to go, learn. Go. That was that was pretty much the learning curve. Uh, but I got that quick and uh, learned my way around pretty well. Actually, uh, I've got some good... I can handle a car in New York City real easy after Real easy, that. yeah, yeah. My I've, wife I've calls me the uh, the uh, parking savant of New York City. You, you got that parallel I, parking I, down. I, yeah, it's yeah. cake. Man. Cake, yeah. yeah. But what a great job working with all the great jazz. Uh, yeah, because you were telling me that after they, that. they promoted you from driving yeah, the truck. Yeah, after I got off the truck, I got to work as a sound technician for the rehearsals. And uh, we had all kinds of cats, Harry Belafonte, Tito Puente, Lionel Hampton, mm. Max Roach, Harry Connick Jr. Oh, wait, you were telling me, tell me about Max Roach, you would rent a snare? Max Roach would come in sometimes, and he would get a small rehearsal room and ask for one snare. And we'd be like, what is, what's he going to do with that, right? right? And he would sit down with that snare in this little room and just single stroke that snare for an hour. That's incredible. Checking that. every part of the snare, you know, his velocity, his attack, I mean, everything. Um, that, I mean, that's how masters work, you know. That's and what a, what a real eye-opener right. to see a guy who, one of the greatest drummers, legends of all time. Right. Um, and still at and still that ripe age, right. going in and not only practicing, but tearing it down to absolutely the most basic fundamental. Right. You know, and it, it would be a, equal to me sitting at the piano, you know, and, and just playing one note, you know, I mean, or one chord and, right. and making sure all those notes were even yeah. and making, you know, all that stuff. It was really a, a real learning experience. and. Uh, what a great joy to yeah, watch that. Yeah, I think that, people, man. sometimes musicians forget it never stops. You no, it never digging, stops. You know, never it never stops. never stops. Yeah, once you think you're good, it's all over. You yeah, know? yeah. You got you to gotta keep, uh, keep working that yeah. for sure. That's, that's what I love about it is that it, it's endless. Yeah. It's endless until the day yeah, we I, die. Yeah, I feel like I've learned something every time I pick up an instrument, yeah. you know. And, uh, and that's the real, actually, I, that's the joy of, yeah. of playing the instrument is right. discovery. I think more than anything, yeah. like writing a song, you know, bringing something brand new, um, feeling like you've been part of, you know, a creative and, a, and like a new beginning of something right. musical is really, you know, a real gift, I think. You know? Well put, well put. Um, so this next song is called? Katie Truly. Katie Truly. What's yeah. Katie Truly about? Katie Truly is a... a it's about a guy with bad luck, trying real hard, uh -huh. and he's in love with a girl, and he's really willing to sacrifice just about anything to make him love, make her love him back. Oh, jeez. My wife's Katie, by the way. Oh, so it um, all worked out. So it worked out good. <laughs> <laughs> good lady, good lady, that Katie. Katie, truly, the 
love you give shine like the sun Katie truly the life we share has just begun ba da 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 ba da 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 ba da 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 I've been living hard on great expectations I've been heading up the Grand Committee of Fools. I've been taking down minutes and minutes and minutes of bullshit. If you take me back, I promise I won't blow it. I quit my drinking and I'll burn this wicked piano. You just love me, babe. Katie, truly, the life we share has just begun. Ba da 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 Katie, truly, Katie, truly, Katie, truly, Katie, truly, Great job, Arlen. Thanks, brother. That was awesome, man. This has been a real pleasure. Real getting to pleasure, man. to see you man. again, too, because I haven't seen you in years. And getting to hear your music. I've always been a fan of yours. I always thought you wrote great songs. And we should hear more of your songs more often. You know? I appreciate that, man. I'm looking forward to your new album oh, dropping, yeah. too, man. Oh, yeah, man. It's, it's coming soon. Tr you know, pushing it out there yeah. every day, still doing it. We're you know, all in it. Making it happen. <laughs> but everyone, do me a favor. Check out Arlen's music. Go online. Arlen Phyllis, he's working on a couple of new records. He has records already out. Support his music, be there for him. He's a great guy, great songwriter, and I hope to see more of you. Thanks, man. This is Songs from the Stoop from the West Village. We're out of here. Have a good day. Adios.